show you what I did. Okay, we have our frame. Um, we need to mark the center point. So we have the center point here, and we need to put the two unique frames. So this this next setup here shows uh, the center of the dome, and each frame. Both of these frames are just rotated around to make the whole sphere. Um, but this, so this is all the information that we need here. Uh, I've also set up two vertical struts because sometimes it's easier to work vertically and I've also set up two horizontal struts with the center of the dome marked. Uh, these are what we'll, we'll mostly be using uh, today. Right, uh, I've done a bit more setting up here. I've added these extra lines and those lines are this line here rotated out uh, 10 degrees. I was tinkering before and it wasn't going so well so I've added them just to help me uh, I'll show you what I do now. We need the arc tool. Um, don't forget to select your component and double click it, double -click it because uh, the times I forget to do that and then it doesn't do anything. You have to do it all again. So, arc tool. Uh, what you'd normally do, let me just uh, demonstrate, would be to start from here and arc over to there and that makes a nice arc but we need to extend our arcs because um, when you have a reciprocal frame when you twist it the, you need a longer length so we're gonna I've only guessed it and I'm gonna chop them off later if they're too long um, and that's what these extra lines are for I just took this line and sw swivel it out 10 degrees so we click on there and we click on there and that gives us a um, a nice extended arc okay let's uh, we'll continue with this one because the other one's exactly the same and then um, that means I only have to do the wall uh, next up we'll take this uh, tool and we'll we need to make a C okay I've had a problem with our axes what's happened is I've taken the time to line up these components with the axes but for some reason our components out of whack uh, and the axes is wrong on it so what we want to do is change the axes on our component so we just select it like that right now we go tools axes and we want to copy this axis so that's the same that's the red that's the green we and then we think we click somewhere else and it acts yeah that's it yeah let's update the axes right we so now what we have is we've got a nice horizontal axis uh, the reason that is because when we draw this um, square with our um, square drawing tool rectangle tool yada yada it follows the axis automatically all right let's move this now we've got a choice here. We can move this. We want to really move it up to here. Um, but once we touch it on there, it'll stick, uh, which we don't really want to do. We want to put it just a smidge off. Grab it in the middle, and it won't stick there. And that's better. Uh, then we need to orientate it rightly. So we'll just swivel it. Uh, we'll use this swivel tool. We want to swivel right on the middle of here. And the bottom and lock it under there. Right, what we've got now is uh, a box shape. This could be a band or a um, box shape of some, some type. Um, really need to get this, you, I could put it above the line or below the line. There we go. We want, we really want to put it on there. So let's just move that on the edge there, and then move these out. So it's right in the middle. So this this band is in the middle of our geometry. We could put it at the bottom here, so that the band runs around the outside. Uh, 
but I think it'll, it'll work. it should work just the same as long as you remember to do the same and that's right in the middle so it's pretty handy let's try and extrude this and get something to go right on this drone so if I can remember the extrude tool now which is the follow me tool isn't it um, let's click double click that yeah it doesn't select anything else so it's not stuck out then we go tools follow me we want to follow this oh come on thank you go. no there you go it's a bit of an awkward tool this to use it I'm not quite sure how to use it there we go we've made a band it's probably a dirty great thick band but we'll uh, we'll see how that looks on the drone right we converted that um yeah no it's got things are going okay we conv converted one of these into let's show you what's happened here Ooh, looks quite cool uh, into a band that, that goes around like that not sure what the joins are and it's a bit longer that's what these bits stick and past are um, and that's that's our first component well, now what we have to do is we have to remember to do that exactly the same on the other one so we've got to go 10, 10 degrees past, draw a line, and extrude a box over it. Uh, I won't bore you with that. Oh, I'll maybe do it super fast speed for you. Okay, uh, next bit is the uh, rotating bit. We've left these lines in situ because we'll need them. Uh, what, no, what I need to do, I think, is draw a line. Center. Center of here. Should say midpoint. Midpoint, yeah. And then uh, extend it a little bit. Try a bit more. There we go. Uh, just so we can see what we're doing. Again, it's just a line to uh, help us do the next step. And we'll do, we'll do one on here as well. Uh, there we go. What the hell? point there we go that was easy that one so we have two lines poking through the center of our what would you call them curved bands eh? right select, select this component double click it so we're into it yeah triple click so we've selected our band and then place our row tool on top of here slide to the bottom and then click anywhere really on here and there we can rotate we want to rotate clockwise 
Uh, the last one we did was 20 odd degrees. I think we're going to need to do at least, let's do 24, 24 degrees. We'll see how that looks in a minute. Uh, I'll do this, do the other one next. So that's this one. Spin that a little bit. Triple click. Sorry, double click to get into the component. Triple click. Select the band and then rotate this. What did I say? I forgot what it was now. I think it was 24. I think I think I did 24. Right, we've done both of them. Let's go back to the main drawer and see how that's uh, looking. To our main framework. Right, here we go. Let me see here now. Right, we've got a number of. Um, yeah, that's running past. So that if we cut this off here, that would be fine. So that gives us where we, and cut this one off here. Yeah, I think if we just that's an odd shape. Mm, wondering why that's done that shape. That should be an e, an even. Uh, um, okay. Um, this tutorial is getting a wee bit long, so I'll just quickly run through the last couple of stages. What I've done uh, next is I've tilted these um, things. I'm, I might be able to get on undo. I've got a bit ahead of myself without recording. Uh, let's go. No, leave that. Um, yeah. Well, you can probably see it that it's, that this is this end is tipped up and this end is tipped down. All I did was I uh, put the rotate tool in the middle of this component and I just tilted up the top and dropped the bottom. And I did uh, by about six degrees on this one. And I did the same on this one. If you have a look at the uh, main model, you can just see that 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 that's tipped this edge up. So they're not all um, touching each other because these we've got to put a bolt through these. So I've quickly done that, uh, and I've started to round the ends like you would, because uh, these ends are too long. So what I'll do next is I'll round these off, um, that end and that end, so the correct length, and then I'll I'll put some simulated bolts or something in, in and uh, then render it. So um, it's probably a bit boring to watch me round the ends off and that, and it's simple enough anyone can do it. So uh, well, I'll come back when that's done. Right, we've rounded the ends off on both of them. So now you can see that we've tipped them up so that they stack nicer and we've rounded the ends off. They're still colour coded so you can see the two different struts. Uh, green's the pent and red's the hex by uh, the equilateral by the look of it. Yeah, that looks about right. Uh, so what I'll do now is I will uh, simulate some bolts, go bolting it together. Um, and give it a rent and render it all in one. You get a better impression, I think, uh, rather than having the two colours. Although the two colours are handy for seeing uh, what goes where, so you could you could probably use if you were making this a colour coded version. Uh, but I'll make it all one so you can see how a, a finished uh, sphere. And I'll delete all of these. We'll do that now, but I'll do it in um, high speed. <laughs> 